This is Rhonda Brooks of Farm Journal Media. I'm here today with Ken Ferry and we're at the start of the 2011 Corn College and one of the things, Ken, you said you wanted to do was just to provide a crop update uh, for folks and what do you think this week is going to bring uh, for the corn? It's, it's going to be a, a testing moment, I guess you would say. It, the crop here in central Illinois is, is a little bit all over the board as far as uniformity and that type of thing, depending on water damage and stuff. But in general, it looks like the whole state is pollinating uh, this week and next week. Uh, and uh, that's going to be a challenge. In the corn like what we're here today, it's just about done pollinating, and it's probably going to slide through on the front side of it. But I think we're going to have an awful lot of corn out there that's going to have to deal with these uh, 90 plus degree temperatures that are coming in. That's going to make a challenge on how long the pollen is going to stay viable, what kind of silk pressure we're going to have as far as uh, pushing the silks out and getting this done. I'd like to see pollination be a three day event and this could drag it out into all week. Uh, we could see some pollen death. So we're going to we're going to give this thing a workout as far as getting a good pollination and getting started. Um, beyond the temperatures probably the other risk is nighttime temperatures if we can't cool this thing down at night we may even go into kernel abortion already meaning that this plant might start giving up some of those new pollinated kernels so I sure wish we could have brought this heat a week ago uh, in most cases here in central Illinois and then uh, cooled her back down through this week but you got to deal with what you're dealt I think uh, you know it's a situation where uh, we're still in good shape and we could come out of this in pretty good shape but uh, you just don't like to see that kind of weather forecast that we have in the mid to upper 90s uh, throughout the whole week without any rain in the forecast. That's it's going to challenge things. Okay, is there is there anything that farmers ought to be looking at or looking for this week? Definitely, you know, this is go time for the corn and the farmer. He's got to make sure every one of these fields is getting pollinated. When we come under heat stress, we're going to slow down the silk emergence. When we slow down the silk emergence, we're going to start to challenge pollination. We're also going to shorten up the life of the pollen. So we we got to make sure there's no silk feeders out there. We're talking mainly about rootworm beetle and Japanese beetle clipping silks. I want a good half inch of silk. So if I pull up that silk and I look at the end, the ones that are getting clipped off will be brown. And we need a good half inch of silk to get pollinated. Uh, with the Japanese beetle, they're kind of aggressive feeders and they'll clip the silk off even after the ear pollinates. So you do want to break that ear off and open the uh, husk up and see if it's pollinated. But if the ear's not getting pollinated, the silks are getting clipped, you're really gonna have to react fast this week so you don't miss that window or draw this thing out. Um, so that's, you know, the insect pressure has been moderate, I would say, out there, but we do have some areas where the Japanese beetle is pretty aggressive. But between the Japanese beetle and the uh, rootworm beetle are probably the two that we were gonna worry about here and make sure they're not gonna uh, derail things. A little bit of rootworm pressure we can handle and things are growing good but a little bit of rootworm pressure under serious heat stress and slow silk growth can also become a problem. So I think that's what they're gonna have to do is spend some time out in these fields, even as miserable as it's gonna be this week. Make sure this thing's going off without any trouble. Okay, thank you, Ken.